Hey guys, it is time to unbox yet another toy. And today, that honor goes to this SNES classic right here. Want to watch me unbox it? Hopefully you do. If so, stick around and I will do just that right after the break. Okay, what's up everybody? I am Daniel Day and I am back again with another unboxing video for D-Day Gaming. And as I mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be unboxing this SNES Classic right here. Or SNES Classic Edition, depending on which side of the line you fall on. This thing is basically my childhood in a box, which is why I'm so excited to actually be holding one of these things. The nostalgia is practically dripping off of it. Needless to say, it was quite the little adventure trying to get my hands on one of these, but now that I have it, I am super excited to open it up, play around with it, and maybe give you guys some initial impressions while we're at it. All right, enough yapping from me. Let me go ahead and get the camera and the lights moved around so that we can get a better view of the action, and I will be right back. Okay, looks like we are ready for the main event. Now, before we actually crack the box open, why don't we take a quick look around the packaging? Let's see here, all right, so. On the front here, it looks like we have got a box that very, very closely resembles what the original Super Nintendo box actually looked like. That is very, very cool. It's got uh, some labels here on the side about some of the games that are included on the system. On the side here, it looks like we got a picture of the controller and uh, all sorts of uh, text about that in a few different languages. On the other side here, we have got a picture of the SNES Classic Edition. Look how small that thing is in whoever's hand. That is just crazy. I cannot wait to get this thing out of the box and actually see if it really is that small. Uh, now on the top here, it looks like we have got a uh, kind of Classics series logo up here with a Super Nintendo controller. This is actually pretty cool because on my NES, Classic Edition. They had this exact same thing going on up here, but with an NES controller. It's also kind of sort of reminiscent of the Switch logo, what with the white and red. So yeah, pretty cool. And then, most importantly, on the back here, we have got pictures of all of the games that are included, all 21, as well as a full listing of them here. I mean, these are some of the best games ever made. Looks like we've got Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3 or 6, if you're in other parts of the world, F-Zero, Kirby's Dream Course, Kirby Superstar, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Yoshi's Island, and of course, the unreleased Star Fox 2. I feel like I just said super about a hundred times in a row. Okay, so that's it as far as the packaging goes. Looks like we're not gonna need a knife for this. There's just a nice little pull tab right here that we can kinda get open, hopefully. All right. Autofocus, don't fail me now. <laughs> Which way does this open? Okay, looks like this way. All right, so peel that box off of there, and it looks like we have got some sort of instruction manual uh, and pamphlets right here. I think I read that that might be a poster. And then what else do we have? We have got a USB-AC adapter, it looks like. Pretty awesome. I didn't know one of these came in the box, but what's cool about this is you've actually got a little Nintendo logo right there so always feels better to be using kind of an official charger i'm always a little bit wary of using third party ones but hey that's just me all right what else do we have looks like here you've got what i am assuming are your controllers with this blue stuff hanging off yep all right let's feel this man uh it's all coming back to me now buttons feel Fantastic, start and select, still have that kind of rubbery, mushy thing going on. 
you got your triggers up here, and of course, the callus inducing D-pad. I cannot tell you how many calluses I got as a kid trying to play Street Fighter 2 on this thing and do <laughs> shoryukens and that. Just crazy. I suppose I'm gonna have to start building them back up, huh? So, all right, so we got that. We've got some sort of blue plastic uh, kind of protecting the cable. Here we've got the connector on the end of the controller. And of course that is the same connector type that is used on the Wiimote. So that means that this thing is actually also usable kind of backwards compatible wise on, uh, on the Wii with some of the virtual console games. I'm super anxious to check that out as well. All right, other than that, it looks like we've got another controller here because yes unlike the last one you get two this time which i'm sure is part of why this thing costs a little bit more than last time here we've got the main event itself but before we open that what else we got in here so here you've got the usb to micro usb connection that actually powers the device you're actually going to plug one of those ends into that wall adapter we looked at a minute ago and then as far as the other peripherals go hey look at that nintendo included an hdmi cable with this thing which is fantastic all right on to the main event holy crud is this thing small look at that so we've got a working purple power button a working kind of slidey reset button this one clicks up and down this one just kind of automatically goes back down which is exactly how it was on the super nintendo you've got the little eject button area here it doesn't actually do anything as well as the cartridge slot that's mostly just there for looks make it look like the old system on the back here you have got your hdmi out and your power connector so there's that there's the side there's the other side here is the bottom for anybody that was curious. It acts as a Super NES control deck. That is great. So you got some little pads down here as well. And of course, on the front, this bit is a little bit interesting to me. I'm very, very curious to see if that LED there actually lights up when you power the thing on. But uh, yeah, so the thing with this, and I've heard these are kind of hard to open, is uh, these are all fake. This is just a facade. You basically pop this thing down somehow to plug the controllers in. Oh, okay, never mind. That was simple. I don't know what everybody was talking about. So there you go. There's your two controller inputs right there. All right, I am gonna go ahead and hook this up to my TV, kind of crack out on some of these amazing games, and I will be right back with some initial impressions. Oof, you have no idea how hard it was to pry myself away from playing this thing to actually finish up the rest of this video. So far, I am in love with this thing. The game selection is just amazing. Although I do wish that Nintendo had found some way to include Chrono Trigger on this thing. But what you do have here is nearly perfect. Every game that I checked out on this thing seemed to be faithfully recreated, and I'm not just excited to revisit the games that I've played through a thousand times before, but also the handful of games that are on this thing that I've just never gotten a chance to play. Having never actually opened my NES Classic Edition, it is still sealed in the box, it is just amazing to me how Nintendo managed to cram so much into such a tiny little box. It is just unreal. Oh, and the control controllers, they just feel amazing. And although I have read that the cables on the controllers for this guy are substantially longer than they were on the NES Classic, I am still super, super glad that I ended up picking these up right here. Because boy, they might be longer, but they're still pretty short. I mean, hey, you could never have too much length, right? <laughs> okay. All kidding aside, you know, one of the things that has got me most excited about this is because it is HDMI based, that means I'm actually going to be able to capture the footage off of this thing very, very easily. And that means I'm going to be able to stream these games out onto the internet and enjoy them right alongside my awesome community. I feel a Super Metroid stream coming in the very near future and I just can't wait. Okay guys, I suppose it is probably about time to start wrapping this video up. If you've made it this far, I just wanted to say thank Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And I also wanted to give a special shout out to each and every one of my YouTube subscribers. You guys rock. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to encourage you to poke around, check out some of my other videos, and if you enjoy the type of content that I put together for you guys, maybe consider subscribing. It is totally free for you, and it helps this guy out 
quite a bit. And on top of that, you would be helping me get closer and closer to my 100 subscriber goal here on YouTube. We're getting very, very close at this point, and I am totally looking forward to reaching that milestone along with my awesome community. For any of you that would like to find me other places on the internet, I just wanted to point out that in addition to producing content like this video for my channel, I also live stream. And those live streams are not only available here on YouTube, but they are also simultaneously streamed to Twitch and to Mixer. So that basically means you can catch my streams on whatever your platform of choice is. And best of all, I've actually got live chat from all three services up on screen throughout the entire stream. So that means you can basically communicate with everybody on all the platforms, regardless of which one you are currently using. All of those links are available in the description below, along with my Twitter username, just in case you would like to follow me there. But I will see if I can work a little bit of video editing magic and put something down here at the bottom of the screen that also has that information. All right, thanks again for watching and supporting my work here on YouTube. I really appreciate it, and hopefully I will catch each and every one of you in the next one.